Turning drawings on a page into two pins inspired by Father's Day. Let's get right into it. Hey friends and welcome back. I hope everybody is doing okay out there again today. Next, all I did was grab my pencil, a piece of paper, and started my drawings. Now while I'm drawing these out, I thought I would tell you guys some fun Father's Day facts. Father's Day became an officially recognized holiday in 1910. On Father's Day every year, over 72 million cards are sent out. The official Father's Day flower is a rose. In Germany on Father's Day, the men get to spend their day in beer gardens. And lastly, the most popular Father's Day gift is a tie. Next, I'm just going to outline these pictures and then we can get them 3D printed. Here are the 3D versions of these pictures. Now all I have to do is grab some regular acrylic paint and paint them in. While I put some finishing touches on these, let's go on to the resin portion. First off, protect your hands with some disposable gloves. Then you'll need a mixing container with measures on the side, your resin and hardener, of course, a torch for those bubbles and lastly a stir stick the first step is to grab your hardener and pour one part into your mixing container Now grab your resin this time and pour one equal part into the same mixing container. Now grab your three minute timer and press start. When you mix this for the three minutes, make sure to do so slowly, scraping the sides and the bottom so everything gets fully integrated. Now we mix slowly just so we can avoid any excess bubbles from popping up. Here they are fully painted. And of course, I just put a cute little design on the backs of each of them. Now all I have to do is pour that resin straight on top. Now we wait 10 minutes to see if any excess bubbles come up. The last thing we have to do, you guys, is just lightly deep bubble the projects. And then we wait 24 hours to see the final reveal. So 24 hours has passed and the Father's Day pins are ready for the reveal. So here they are. Very shiny, set very well. So let's take a closer look. So here is the number one dad award. Very cute, very fun. And I added a red tassel to match. Very cute. And of course, the Father's Day mug. Very cute, has his pattern on the back, and of course, a blue tassel to match. 
Overall, I think they're very cute. I really like the silhouette of this guy, and I think the colors on this one work really well together. I don't think these are probably my highest quality projects so far. I don't know why, but they look a little like lower budget than I was expecting them to. But overall, I think they're pretty darn cute. Out of both of these though, I have to say that this award is my favorite one. I just really like the silhouette, and I think it looks very fun. I think out of 10, I have to give this guy around a six. He's very cute, but he is not the highest quality that I was expecting and hoping for out of this one. And for this guy, I think I'm going to give him maybe a 5 out of 10. A little less exciting than this one here, but still cute, but not quite what I was expecting. So let me know down in the comments below, you guys, which one was your favorite this week? It is really important for me to know that you guys are coming back to my channel and enjoying my content. If you enjoyed this week's video, don't forget to check out my last week's video, which I'll link at the end of this. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you all enjoyed the process just as much as I enjoy doing this for all of you out there. I hope you all have a very good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next week for two new projects.